Greetings, friends and family of the Hewlett Woodmere Public Schools, and welcome to a special graduation ceremony celebrating this year's senior class at George W. Hewlett High School. The ceremony will begin in less than three minutes. Thank you in advance for adhering to all social distancing guidelines. We appreciate your cooperation. Congratulations to this year's senior class, and thank you for celebrating this momentous occasion. The processional will begin soon.
Good afternoon, and welcome to the 113th commencement ceremony of the George W. Hewlett High School Class of 2020. At this time, please turn off all electronic devices so there is no interference with our commencement ceremony. Please rise and join Rachel Poutre, our senior class president, who will be attending Duke University in the fall in the salute to the flag, followed by the national anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Rachel. I would like to take this opportunity to recognize our Hewlett Woodmere Board of Education. President, Mr. Mitchell A. Griebel. Vice President, Mrs. Melissa Gates. Trustees, Mr. Paul Critty, Mrs. Cheryl May, Mrs. Judy Menashe, Mrs. Deborah Scheinin, and Mrs. Daniela Simon, as well as our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Ralph Marino. I also wish to acknowledge the efforts of our District Director of Facilities, Mrs. Kim Powerhouse, along with her, our, our exceptional custodial staff, led by Mr. Bill Scarlett and Mr. Andrew Schmeider. Appreciation is also extended to Mr. Anthony Sanastaso, Mrs. Anna Garvin, our PTA and Senior Committee, as well as our graduation advisors, Mrs. Jennifer Trow and Mrs. Joanna Krull who have dedicated countless hours in planning and coordinating with me this year's six graduation celebrations. To our retirees, Mr. Ted Chereskin, Mr. Ken Corder, and Mrs. Pamela Korn, thank you for your years of dedicated service to the students and parents of Hewlett High School. It is our sincere hope you enjoy a well-deserved, long, happy, and healthy retirement and time well spent with family and friends. I would like to recognize our parents of our graduates who, without your love and devotion, this ceremony would not be possible. Today is also your day to celebrate, and we salute you for all you have done to help our students achieve success. Once again, good afternoon. Congratulations to the George W. Hewlett High School Class of 2020. I am so happy that we're able to be here today in person to celebrate this exceptional group of students. Graduates, you have exemplified all that it means to be a Hewlett High School graduate. Pride in your work, determination, academic excellence, and respect for your class and community. You have demonstrated your talents as scholars, artists, musicians, and athletes. It has been my privilege to watch you grow and mature into the strong, respectful, and optimistic young adults you are today. It goes without saying that this has been a most challenging year, at times stressful, sad, and confusing. 
You have demonstrated your amazing resilience and have excelled in the face of adversity. It is my hope that when you look back on your high school years, what you will remember most are the memories of the friendships formed, academic challenges achieved, and knowledge that has been gained. High school graduation is a day that marks the conclusion of one major chapter in your life and the beginning of the next. It is a day that brings with it a great sense of joy and celebration, a day to reflect, appreciate, and to dream. I encourage you to continue to celebrate creativity and embrace the uniqueness in life. We are who we are because we believe that excellence and perseverance is a journey and never a destination. Graduation is naturally a time to reminisce about your time here at Hewlett Woodmere Public Schools. The years have gone by quickly, but the memories will last a lifetime. Transitioning from middle school to high school, study halls, regents and AP courses, homecoming, decorating the halls, athletic events, and assessments. The fun and exciting times, as well as the obstacles, make up the memories you will carry with you always. Learn from them, cherish them. Although high school may be complete, the evolution has just begun. Take time to enjoy life, but also know that your hard work will pave the way, pave the way to a brighter future. As you move forward in life, remember to live your best life. I share with you some basic ingredients to consider. Always believe in yourself. Find and secure your passion in life. Be in control of your life. Create opportunities and live them. Spend time with family and say, thank you, mom and dad. Follow your heart. Live life today. Don't wait until tomorrow. Laugh every day. Spend time with people you admire. Be grateful, give back, be generous. Show compassion and cherish every moment. Be true to yourself, work hard and dedicate yourself and your dreams will come true. We are certainly living in uncertain times. Be open to new ideas, listen, continue to educate yourself, be compassionate and stay true to yourself. Never forget the value of persistence, discipline, respect, and fortitude. As General James L. Anderson stated in his book, Becoming a Leader of Character, character is what separates great leaders. Our character is in our own control. We build it, sustain it, or destroy it based on our choices. The choices we make daily prepare us for the bigger choices that will come when challenges arise. As this chapter in your life reaches a conclusion and a new chapter unfolds, take with you the excitement and joy that characterizes your childhood in discovering, learning, and growing throughout the years. May your dreams extend beyond your imagination Dedicate yourself to your passion and beliefs. Become the best you can be. Build a legacy. You are a role model and a bulldog who will inspire others. It is with great pride and honor that I served as your principal. I wish each of you a life rich with meaning, happiness, and fulfillment. Congratulations and the best of luck in all of your endeavors. Our salutatorian this year is Brittany Paul, who is an extraordinary student, both academically and socially. This fall, Brittany will be attending Washington University in St. Louis. Please welcome our 2020 salutatorian, Brittany Paul.
When I was told that I was going to be this year's salutatorian, I felt extremely honored to be representing this amazing class. This is a class filled with athletes, artists, musicians, mathletes, business stars, science researchers, dancers, writers, singers. I mean, we even have Alex Tang. <laughs> Hi, Alex. <laughs> but most importantly, this is a class filled with amazingly kind, compassionate, and giving people. I've always thought this to be true, but I have especially felt it throughout the past three months when the only connection we had besides our families was with our fellow classmates and teachers. March 12th was the last day we walked the halls of Hewlett High School, most likely stressed out over homework, upcoming exams, and especially college decisions, but blissfully unaware of what was ahead. Coronavirus has profoundly impacted all of our lives, and as seniors, we especially feel that we missed out on precious moments. I am not going to stand here and give advice, but as the youngest of four siblings, I have plenty that I can share. It is not what happened, it's what happens next. And what happened next was pretty incredible. The class of 2020 bonded together in numerous ways, whether through Spirit Week, Instagram stories sharing pictures of our dogs, digital yearbook signings, or constant FaceTimes to connect and keep each other sane. A big thank you to the administration, teachers, and guidance counselors who made every effort to continue our education and guidance and even held early morning meetings just to check in on us. We couldn't have gone through without all of you and we truly appreciate it. The June 5th car caravan was the first time many of us had seen each other in three months. There was so much excitement with horns honking, people smiling, waving, and greeting each other like long lost friends. Some of us were even crying. Taking that final lap around the school as students with our teachers cheering us on was the most memorable send off we could ever imagine. They say for every end, there is a new beginning. However, the way we have all banded together, this isn't an end or a beginning, but rather a continuation in how we will always support and root for each other in the next chapters of our lives. I truly cannot wait to see all the amazing things that will come from our class, the class of 2020, because in the words of my brother, Ryan Paul, we are too good not to be great. Congrats, class of 2020. I love you all. Thank you, Brittany. Our valedictorian this year is Jack Hoffman, who is an outstanding student academically. His community service efforts and long list of extracurricular activities make him someone to admire. Jack will be attending Northeastern University in the fall, studying business. Please welcome our 2020 valedictorian, Jack Hoffman. Class of 2020, we made it. For four years, as we worked endlessly on classes and homework and clubs, it seemed like we might never make it to this day. But we knew we were getting closer. And as we got closer and closer, it actually looked less and less likely that this day would come here at graduation. But thank you, coronavirus. But here we are. We made it to graduation. And although high school was a fact of life for so long, with no end in immediate sight, this too has come to an end, reminding us that we are now in control of our lives. Our lives are in our hands now. Soon we'll be in college, and soon after that, we're going to be working and living on our own as adults. In life, there are always problems at our disposal to keep us down if we so choose. But our experiences and accomplishments and achievements in high school tell us that we, the class of 2020, are truly capable of anything. You individually are capable of anything. So we can choose to allow our challenges and insecurities to define our limits. Or we can choose simply to be who we want to be, to live how we want to live, 
to achieve what we seek to achieve and to lead the life that we have always dreamed of leading. That is our choice. And to a much more profound extent than you might think, making the choice is what actually gets us there. We've been through so much together, from a security threat pushing us onto the field, with SWAT cars circling the property on the last day of school, to nationwide unrest and activism due to the threat of school gun violence, to the coronavirus making us stuck at home for three months. And that's on top of being a teenager. <laughs> but none of it changes the fact that we are going to enter the world as some of the most successful and impactful doctors and lawyers, engineers and educators, business people, writers, architects, artists, actors, and scientists in the world. Nothing changes the fact that we have persevered and have actually grown stronger from each of our challenges. We can and we will reach for the stars, be successful, find love, touch lives, and achieve our dreams. Because true success is not about making a lot of money, or being valedictorian, or being popular. True success is about finding fulfillment and meaning and gratitude, however that comes. And that is what we will choose. And with that, I would like to thank our amazing teachers and school counselors who are committed to teaching and supporting and inspiring us every day. I would like to thank our families, whose love and support has shaped us and enables us to be our best selves. And lastly, I'd like to thank God for the so many miracles in our lives. It is my honor and privilege to be your class valedictorian, and it is my equal privilege to begin this next chapter on our journey alongside all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jack. In ancient Rome, not only were athletic victors crowned with a laurel wreath, poets who possessed skill in rhetoric, grammar, and language, and versification were also considered victors, in this case, literary victors. The term laureate became associated with degrees awarded by European universities. As a royal degree in rhetoric, the title Poet Laureate was awarded at European universities in the Middle Ages. To carry on this rich tradition, Hewlett High School has initiated an annual contest for the purpose of honoring the most gifted in this realm. And we are proud to announce that this year, three students emerged from a powerful pool of poems. All of their work is printed in our graduation program. This afternoon, please join us in celebrating the class of 2020 as we listen to poet Randall Placino recite his poem on the occasion of this commencement ceremony. My poem is titled, and the world is my oyster. I carefully approached one shell on the beach, and into my palms it came, the deformity washing ashore. And on its black veneer, a thin crack ran, ran down, peering within the surface, one ivory pearl on an acre. I looked up high at the small sparks, flickering against the black canvas as I silently sat in my shell. Thank you. Thank you, Randall. I would now like to introduce someone who has devoted himself tirelessly to our learning community. Please welcome the President of the Board of Education, Mr. Mitchell A. Griebel. Good afternoon, Dr. Marino, high school administration, staff, parents, family, and friends watching via live, live stream, and of course, good afternoon, Hewlett High School class of 2020. Welcome, and thank you all for joining us this afternoon as we celebrate this amazing gradu graduating class. I will ask you all to indulge me a few minutes while I address the graduates directly. Now that I have your attention, I have some thoughts I'd like to share specifically with all of you. 
If you asked any of my sons for the, for the words of wisdom I shared with them upon their high school graduation, they would tell you that I strongly advised them not to let college or the workplace get in the way of their education. Quite frankly, when one considers how your high school careers came to an end, who better than the class of 2020 to understand that not all that is learned in life is taught in a classroom or even in a Google, a Google platform for that matter. Let's consider some of the facts for a moment. You have faced the pandemic the likes of which no one has ever seen or endured. You were forced to be an innovative and creative to complete the coursework required for graduation. You researched and sought alternative means to help educate yourselves when faced with remote instruction. You mastered the art of learning from home with dogs barking, horns beeping, doorbells ringing, and family members circling. You accepted the defeat of missing some of the rites of passage of being a Hewlett High School senior with dignity and grace. You participated with smiles at the first ever Hewlett High School drive-by. And more importantly, you learned to rise above the pandemic and soar. Of course, it would be really easy for me to stand here and recount all the ways your senior year was impacted by the extended closure of schools. But I believe that you have earned the right to reflect and truly appreciate just how far you have come during this period of tremendous difficult, difficulty and serious health concerns. I think we can all agree that this is not the senior year you envisioned for yourselves or any of us had envisioned for you. Anyone who, su who suggests that your, su your success in the midst of this massive roadblocks is anything other than amazing has clearly not been paying attention to what has been happening to the world around us. It's, yet despite it at all, you looked adversity square in the face and smiled. As recently as a few short weeks ago, none of us ever thought that would be, we would be here today celebrating your graduation with a live ceremony. And yet, here we are. First and foremost, you deserve all the accolades being heaped upon you, and I have no doubt that your experiences over the past few months will help to guide your future toward greatness. Chris Dyer, 2020 Louisiana Teacher of the Year and National Teacher of the Year finalist knows what it's like to have a senior year of high school wrecked by a major crisis, Hurricane Katrina. Here are his thoughts for you, class of 2020. I am sad for you, truly I am. I feel deeply for you, truly I do. It makes my heart hurt as I write. But if there is any group that can plow through this in creative ways, it is your group. There is no pandemic strong enough to silence you or dent the passion of your generation. Keep your head up and keep fighting. Our country needs you because you provide hope for our future. This year may not be what you envision, but I'm eager to see what you do with it. Congratulations on your amazing accomplishments. I wish you much success in whatever path your heart takes you. To each and every family member here, Congratulations on your child's accomplishments. May this afternoon be the beginning of an all new and fabulous adventure for you and your children. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Griebel. Last week, it was my extreme privilege to award honor plaques and scholarship money to our valedictorian and salutatorian in honor of Dr. Michael Santopolo. Superintendent of the Hewlett Woodmere School District from 1955 to 1976, who stood for high academic standards and equality for women in the world of academia. At this time, please join me in congratulating Jack Hoffman and Brittany Paul. In order for the senior year to run smoothly, it takes a dedicated and energetic leader Please welcome the president of the class of 2020, Rachel Putre, who will be attending Duke University in the fall. Good afternoon to one six my fellow graduates, your two guests, faculty, administration, and relatives with enough patience to set up this live stream. When I was first asked to give a speech at graduation, my first thought was, what an honor. Then, when I was told it would not be a singular speech, but repeated multiple times, I thought, 
What can I do to keep this interesting for the poor administration who has to listen to me say the same thing for now actually the sixth time? I look to four years of memories, three principals, two days of graduation, and one unimaginable senior year for inspiration. Should I tell them to make it a good day or not? Call out those who forgot their IDs? Although these messages are pretty much ingrained within our class, there is one sentiment that I believe and have said for years. The class of 2020 shows up. Now, this may seem like a weird way to describe the grade that essentially had senior skip semester, so allow me to explain. Coming into freshman year, we were filled with uncertainty. Would we leave with different friends, different interests? How would we ever find our way around a building that is literally just a square? However, the first time I knew the class of 2020 would be one to watch out for was at sports night. When I looked to the opposite side of the gym, I noticed that it wasn't the seniors who occupied the most space, but the class of 2020. And that was true for every sports night after. As freshman year went out with a bang, senior year, along with graduation at the Tilla Center, still seemed like a world away. Although this isn't exactly what I envisioned, I'm sure my 15-year-old self would be happy to know that this graduation is so much more high school musical. Then, sophomore and junior year came with surprises of their own. We were finally offered fun new electives and APs we spent all year prepping for. Ceramics, college business law, and AP fire drill were just a few of the classes we made our own. We were given fun new ID lanyards to attach together when the teacher wasn't looking. We could give underclassmen tips you only learn the hard way, like the fact that if you ask your teacher at least once a week, they'll eventually say yes to having random parties or class outside. The class of 2020 was there through traditions and changes, and in my mind, I had no doubt that spirit would persevere through senior year. Before I conclude, I have a few people I need to thank. To Rachel Miller, the executive board, the class of 2020 student council, and the PTA. Thank you for all your help in ensuring only the best for our class over the past four years. Homecoming, Spirit Weeks, and Battle of the Classes were met with so much enthusiasm and energy, and I can't thank you enough for all the hard work you've put in for this class. To the guidance department, administration, teachers, and parents, you are the reason we made it here. You enable us to success, to grow to be who we are today, and challenge us to never settle for anything less than our greatest potential. Today would not be possible without you. To the class of 2020 advisors, Mr. Royals and Mrs. Kroll, I find it extremely difficult to find the words to encompass my gratitude for all you've done for us. You have been the most supportive, kind, and thoughtful people I've ever had the honor of knowing and challenged us to be warmer, brighter, and more spirited individuals, even when we didn't recognize those qualities in ourselves. There have been countless occasions where classmates have told me you made their day. I'm going to truly miss you always being there in our corner. The incoming freshmen have no idea how lucky they are to have your guidance over the next four years. Now finally, we arrived, senior year, the promised land. I think the big event at the start of this year does a pretty good job of describing the rest, the creation of Hewlett memes. However, our great times didn't end there. The class of 2020 was there at homecoming, car decorating, backstage, spirit weeks, even a 6.30 a.m. breakfast that at the time was almost impossible to get up for. We counted the days until second semester and saved our absences for June, unaware of what was to come. We made plans and they got messed up and we all learned the hard way that that's okay. But if you got to see any of our car procession the other day, you not only saw the class of 2020 parade down Everett, but felt our spirit, happiness, and undeniable sense of community. We make it work even when things go wrong and we have fun in the process. If there's anything the past few months and our past four years together have illustrated, it's that things don't always go exactly the way you think they will, but being present for those you care for and those that care about you is no small thing. It takes compassion, conviction, and a willingness to adapt to and welcome in the unknown. Continue to show up, be present, and welcome in those around you. I'd like to congratulate you all for all of your achievements over the past four years and in the years to come. Thank you so much to the class of 2020. Thank you, Rachel. The class of 2020 has received national and local recognitions of many distinctive honors. 94 National Honor Society members, 61 Business and Marketing Honor Society members, 71 Foreign Language Honor Society members, 9 Music Tri-M Honor Society members, 13 Quill and Scroll Honor Society members, 
13 National Art Honor Society members, 22 Thespian Honor Society members, 129 Silver Cord recipients, 21 students who completed all the requirements for the New York State Career and Technical Endorsement for Small Business Administration, eight students who completed the requirements for the New York State Seal of Biliteracy, 14 students who completed all the requirements for the Capstone Program, two National Merit Scholarship commended students, three National Merit Scholarship finalists, and two National Merit Scholarship winners. I would also like to mention that the Hewlett High School students have self-reported receiving over $10 million in college scholarship money. It is now my honor to introduce Mrs. Gail Feingold Huth to present the High School Alumni Award. Distinguished guests, members of the Board of Education, faculty, parents, friends, and most importantly, graduates. My name is Gail Feingold Huth, graduate of the class of 1985. It is with great joy and pride that I stand before you as a board member of the Hewlett Woodmere Alumni Association. On behalf of the Hewlett Woodmere Alumni Association, I extend congratulations to all students and their families of the graduating class of 2020. The Hewlett High School Alumni Association connects Hewlett High School's past with the present and with tomorrow's leaders who sit here filled with inspiration and dreams. Graduates, in a little while, you too will be George W. Hewlett High School alumni. Always remember, as we at the association do, that your Hewlett Woodmere education is a strong foundation upon which to build your future and influence the world. You can achieve excellence in any field you choose as Hewlett Woodmere alumni have done, who have graduated before you. It is my honor this year to present the Hewlett Woodmere Alumni Association Award to a member of the class of 2020 as selected by Hewlett High School's Awards Committee. Please come to the podium when I call your name. The award for academic excellence goes to David Valensky. We wish the entire class of 2020 the best of luck and look forward to having each and every one of you stay connected with George W. Hewlett High School through the Hewlett Woodmere Alumni Association. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Feingold Huth. As the principal of George W. Hewlett High School, I hereby certify to you Dr. Ralph Marino, that the members of the class of 2020 present here today have met the requirements for their courses of study as prescribed by the State of New York and the trustees of the Hewlett Woodmere Union Free School District. Please welcome Dr. Marino, Superintendent of the Hewlett Woodmere School District. Thank you, Dr. Galati. Good afternoon, Board of Education members, administrators, faculty, staff, parents, relatives, friends, community members, and especially good afternoon, graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, seated before us on this 30th day of June are 45 young adults who are part of the extraordinary Hewlett High School class of 2020. 
When we left school on March 13th, I'm sure none of us ever expected that we'd be hosting six high school graduation ceremonies live on our football field. Today, we have the honor of recognizing 45 of our graduates. Like you, I'm thrilled that we're able to celebrate all of their accomplishments in person. I've always thought that graduation is a bit like a birthday party. It signifies that yet another year has passed. It means being surrounded by those who love and care about you. And above all, it means that there are all sorts of gifts and goodies on the party table. For our graduates, these goodies range from a choice of universities and colleges, the military, or a choice of careers. You may decide to volunteer at a charity organization. You could decide to do a stint with the family company. The possibilities are virtually endless. Today is the start of the rest of your lives. Today is also a day for both you and your families to be immensely proud. It is fitting at this time, I think, to acknowledge just what your family means to you, to thank them for never-ended love and support. Soon you'll be starting a new way of life, armed only with what you've learned so far. You will have to make decisions, solve problems, and do things as an adult. That's a challenging thought, isn't it? Today, you're physically leaving behind your school friends. It is important not to forget them because they are an integral part of who you are. So stay in touch, attend school reunions, make that call, send that text message. If you do, you will maintain those very special childhood friendships. Graduation is also a day for stars in your eyes and dreams in your heart. I hope that you will work hard to make those dreams come true. Nobody else can do that for you. There is nothing sweeter than success due to hard work. Like the cake on our birthday tables, each one of you is different. Each one of you has different abilities, different skills, different likes and dislikes. You may be a champion dancer, a wonderful skier, a mathematics wizard, or you may have a beautiful voice. All of these attributes are wonderful, but mean very little if you haven't got a kind heart, if you aren't truthful and understanding, and if you aren't of sound character. Those things may sound dull to you today, but they are the measure of a worthwhile person. We live in a world where there's so much deceit and dishonesty that it's easier at times to simply go with the flow. I implore you to always speak out and stand up against injustices and fight for what you believe in. I hope that in the years to come, you will be known for your integrity and your honesty. You cannot change the whole world, but you can make a difference in your own particular corner. Whatever you choose to do in the future, remember to help others along the way. It doesn't matter what career or occupation you choose, as long as you remember that every type of work has its own dignity and purpose. It doesn't matter how, rise, how high you rise in the world's estimation, as long as you don't get above yourself. All of us have entered this world the same way. All of us will leave it the same way too. It is what we do with the time allocated to us that matters. So today, I urge you to celebrate because today is a day for celebration. I want you to be happy because happiness spreads. I would like you to enjoy yourselves because we should make the most of every fleeting second. Someday your children may ask you what it was like in the good old days. I hope you will remember today and say with great conviction that they were great, they were happy times. As you walk across this stage in a few minutes and go forth as a Hewlett High School graduate, ponder your experiences, make good judgments, and always count your blessings. As you blow out the candles on your high school years, go forward today as a proud Hewlett High School graduate, confident, intelligent, caring, and ready to take on the world. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Farewell and best wishes to all of you. Thank you, Dr. Marino. I now call upon assistant principals, Dr. Richard Mangieri and Mr. Thomas Naglieri to read the names of our graduates.
Ethan Paul Schwarzstein. Tyler Schwarzstein. Erica P. Siegler. Mitchell Adam Silverman. Chloe R. Sippen. Jordana L. Serlin. Caitlin N. Schneider. Guy J. Sonnen. Darren Spencer. Amanda R. Stark. Adina Stein. Katie Stupak. Simone T. Sturman. Jacob Tannenbaum. Alex W. Tang. Yusuf Tatas. Luke Tigani. Mark John Tosino. Soraya Toledo. Nicholas Tuminello. Adam Tsak. Daniel Shmuel Uziel. Angela Valero. Danae R. Valme. David L. Valensky. Fernando Viscara. Tyler H. Walter. Ellis L. Wardle. Aiden M. Warshavsky. Congratulations. 
Ashley West. Jade K. Wilkes. Christopher Williams. Hannah Winter. Boris Zachariah Yakubov. Noah Zalkman Turkel. Kayla Madison Zapata. Gabriela Zeladon Mendoza. Tina Zhang. Roshan M. Ziai Torbati. Joshua I. Ziarno. Congrats. I asked one more time for Rachel Putre to come up and lead the graduates in this ceremonial tassel turn. Will everybody please rise? Class of 2020, this is only the beginning. Let us cherish the past, let us hold on to this moment, and let us embrace the future. The turning of the tassel is a symbolic tradition. As we wear a tassel on the right, we are high school seniors. As we move them to the left, we will become George W. Hewlett House High School alumni. <laughs> I ask you to turn your tassels. Thank you, Rachel. Congratulations to all our graduates. You are now the new alumni of George W. Hewlett High School. Congratulations. Congratulations.